Good afternoon. The Pura 70 is the newest smartphone from Huawei, and it is a device that should not exist. The point of our semiconductor sanctions was to prevent such a thing from ever hitting the market. The conclusion of the teardown report is right here. The Pura 70 is close to being a symbol of China's self-sufficiency. The Mate 60, which came out last year also by Huawei, uh, astounded industry insiders because it contained a seven nanometer chip that wasn't supposed to exist and a long roster of made in China components that went into that model phone. The Pura 70 has even more parts that come from Chinese companies. Uh, Huawei's reliance on foreign suppliers for the Pura 70 is even lower than for the Mate 60. The teardown of the phone comes from iFixit and TechSearch International, and then published by Reuters. They have an extensive part-by-part -part report that you can find here, which we will link to. The Pura 70 uses a slightly more advanced version of the Kirin 9000S chips that went into the Mate 60 from SMIC about 9% faster. For the memory chips, they both also use SK Hynix for the RAM, uh, but the Pura 70's flash memory indicates that it came from Huawei's subsidiary, which is High Silicon, whereas the Mate 60 used Hynix for the entire flash system. The NAND flash for the Pura has one terabyte of storage, which is a lot of memory. Typically, you'll find one terabyte in a laptop, though they do note that the one terabyte is available only in China stores so far. The memory controller for that chip probably also came from Huawei and they weren't able to nail down exactly the manufacturer for the wafers, but it indicates probably that a domestic supplier was used, a Chinese supplier. TechSearch knows the foreign makers of the chips and they weren't familiar with these NAND dies, so they concluded it's probably a new Chinese built wafer. Here are some other important components now made in China, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, power management. They were surprised to find that the battery charger is from Taiwan and the sensors from Bosch, which is a German company. And China does have top suppliers already for those components, which is why they were curious that Huawei used the foreign maker instead. Now we have two phones from Huawei released a few months apart. They're not supposed to be around at all because of the sanctions, but here they are on sale for 1300 US or so. And now it's not just the high speed chips they've learned to build themselves. It's lots of other parts too. Nanjing, Jiangsu province. Be good.